What is up you guys? My name is LouisArt7. I am back with another video. Welcome to my channel if you are new here. And today, today I'm going to be telling you, yeah, that's, that's right, you, how you can make sure that you are drawing to the best of your ability. Let's get into it. Okay, so what exactly am I referring to when I say that you need to make sure that you are drawing to the best of your ability? Guys, I'm talking about warming up, okay? This is so, it's so crucial. I can't even like, right, I can't even stress because you guys need to make sure that your head, your body is in the right state of mind to start your drawing day, okay? And there are so, there are so many ways that you can make sure that you're doing this. For me personally, I like to do anatomy studies like I'm doing here. I'm studying the goat, Yusuke Murata. He, you know, his dynamic poses help me get in the right state of mind to be drawing some crazy, crazy art later on in the day. I can draw it without really like having to, you know, think about it too much because I've already done these, these studies earlier on that have helped me get my brain thinking 3D, thinking about forms, thinking about perspective. And so it is important to make sure that both your mind and your muscles are ready to start your artistic day, okay? Guys, you think Usain Bolt just bangs out 100 meters? No, absolutely not. Okay, this guy is an animal. He makes sure he's had a good meal. He makes sure he's drank enough water and that he's hydrated. He makes sure that he is prepared mentally and physically for the task ahead. And that is exactly what you guys need to be doing. You guys need to make sure that your brain is wired in so that you can draw the best images you have ever drawn, guys. Okay, you wanna also make sure that your arm is loose and that you can draw these fantastic lines right the first time, okay? If you start your day without warming up, and you just jump straight into drawing these crazy, crazy images that I know all of you gorgeous artists draw, then, you know, what's gonna happen, right? You're gonna put the line down wrong the first time. You're gonna have to erase a bunch. You're gonna have to restart the drawing. Like, it just, it might even help you prevent art block if you're getting that, because if you don't know what to draw, you study, right? So do some sketches, do some studies, warm up, make sure that you're in the right, frame of mind to start your day. So what what should you be studying? Okay, I think form is a great one. Okay, that you can get the clothing folds down right, you can get the clothes down right um, with the first lines that you put down. You can get the shadow shapes down right. Just some quick five minute form sketches will definitely help you see in 3D when you're doing your, your fantastic art pieces. You know, I personally like to do anatomy studies like I'm doing here, um, but I'm also, kind of studying form because I'm looking at the way these shapes and these um, these muscles interconnect and how the body parts look in a 3D space. And speaking of 3D, you can also do perspective. That's right, the number one aspect in manga drawing is perspective, guys, especially if you're a background artist or an environmentalist. Okay, if you wanna draw some, I don't know, some fantastic buildings or, you know, trees or dog shit on the side, I don't know what you guys draw, okay? I don't know, but that's none of my business. All I know is that if you wanna draw the perfect piece of dog shit on the side of the road, then you need to learn perspective. Otherwise you're not gonna be able to draw that dog dookie. Guys, you should also make sure that you're not drawing on an empty stomach, okay? Get your water ready, have a good breakfast, okay? Make sure you stay hydrated because if you don't eat your breakfast, it's the most important meal of the day. Everyone's gonna tell you that. Your parents will tell you that. Your teacher will tell you that. Your grandparents will tell you that. Eat breakfast, guys. If you're drawing on an empty stomach, your your stomach's gonna be making whale noises, okay? And people are gonna look at you funny. And that is the last thing you want, especially if you're an introverted artist like myself. That is, you just don't want that, okay? That's gonna ruin your whole day. So you're hydrated, you've had a good meal, you're, you know, you've got a full stomach, you're ready to start your day, crush your enemies, you're sat at your desk. Oh crap, it's a blank piece of paper. Now what? Okay, this is, guys, I'm gonna make a separate video about art block, but the best way to overcome that art block is to actually just draw something. Okay, just draw anything. Draw your pencil, okay? Draw the desk that you're sitting at. Anything, guys, draw the wall in front of you. 
Like, I know people who warm up by drawing circles. Just circles. Big, medium, and small size circles on the whole page. They just fill the page up with them. Because this gets your wrist moving, gets your brain moving, you're thinking about the lines that you're putting down, and that's really, really important for any, any art piece that you're drawing and any lines that you put down. They should be right the first time, so that you do minimal erasing and minimal corrections later on. It's going to save you a lot of stress. A lot of stress. Another great way to warm up is just doing very quick gesture drawings. I'm talking like 10 seconds. Okay, try and get the figure right, try and get your proportions right when you're doing them. Then you can draw these awesome dynamic poses later on. For example, I like to do for shortening. I'm drawing for shortening in one of these sketches and it just helps me, you know, it helps me get my 3D brain in the right place so that I can do these awesome dynamic poses later on in the day when I need to use that part of my brain. That is all I got for you guys today. Make sure you like, subscribe, do all those amazing things that help support me and help me, you know, keep keep making these videos. It, it really means a lot to me as well. And I appreciate every single one of you that are here today. Um, if you want more in-depth videos, check out my Patreon. I've got my sketchbook pages. I've got my studies on there. I've got, you know, full res of my illustrations. Um, Definitely check that out if that's something that interests you and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!